Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and we are covering the event at user command. As a part of that event, to replicate the practical of that event, we firstly simply displayed the data from order header table. We created our own GUI status. And what is the syntax to create our own GUI status? Set PF status, name of the PF status. And in our own GUI status, we created or we gave two buttons in the application toolbar. One is ascending and one is descending. Now our real topic will start. As of up to this level, we only replicated the topic. We did the various things so that we can move on to add user command event. Now, whenever user will click on to these buttons, which event will trigger now add user command? This is our event. Whenever user will click on to the functions, which we created using what PF status at that time, which event will trigger at user command. Now, now we will see in that debugging mode first. Yes, at user command is triggering or not. So what we will do, I will write the firstly event at user command. Suppose I will put a random logic and show you that it is triggering or not. I will put a breakpoint. I'm running the program. Whenever I will give the input, click on to execute button. Start of selection event will call. We are getting the output on basic list and we have two functions in the application toolbar. Whenever I will click on to this button or this button, which event will trigger? Yes, at user command will trigger. You are interacting on basic list. Now I'm clicking on to first button, suppose. Have you seen which event trigger? At user command event trigger. Okay, I will go to back. Okay, suppose now I'm clicking on to suppose descending button. Now you can see again, which event called at user command only. So whenever we are clicking on to the functions which we created, yes, which event will trigger at user command. Now simple understanding. How system understand that we are clicking on to ascending button. How system understand we clicked on to descending button. Suppose we have one more functionality. Suppose save functionality. How system will understand that we are clicking on to save button with the help of what function code function code. Function code is very, very important. Suppose I'm clicking on to this ascending button. So I should only, only execute the logic for ascending. If I will click on to descending button, it means I will only, only execute the logic for descending. If suppose I have a button save. So whenever I will click on to save button, I will only execute the logic for save, save. So how I will distinguish the logic based upon function code because every button has a function code. Suppose simple understanding. If I will go to SC11, whenever we are clicking on to syntax check button, how system understand that it has to only execute syntax check logic with the help of function code. Suppose if we are clicking on to activate button, how system understand that it has to only, only execute activate. 
एक्टिवेट लॉजिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ वॉट फंक्शन कोड सो एवरी बटन हैज ए फंक्शन कोड फंक्शन कोड बिकॉज यू माइट हैव हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फंक्शनिटीज ऑन ए स्क्रीन सो यू विल नॉट एग्जीक्यूट ऑल द लॉजिक लॉजिक शुड बी बेस्ड अपॉन दैट फंक्शन ओनली and how you will distinguish the logic based upon function code and what is the function code for ascending button we gave ascending but the function code we gave for descending button descending so this is the way how we need to approach the logic because if you have 10 functionality we have only one event at user command but we cannot execute all the logic logic should be based upon specific function and how we will distinguish based upon function code now next important point we have one of the most most important system variable that is psi u com we all know whenever something starts with sy it means it is a system variable what is this it is a system variable for user command whatever the command user is giving suppose simple user is giving the command for ascending user is giving the command for descending so this system variable it is a system variable for user command which capture the value of function code which capture the value of function code and this is widely widely used system variable and it's not a one time learning in alv module pool topic again this variable will play a vital role by the code whenever we will click on to this ascending button this psi u com will be automatically ascending whenever we will click on to descending button psi u com will be automatically descending so it is a system variable which will automatically capture but the function code you gave to the button suppose simple i will put a break point and show you break point is there suppose i am giving the input suppose i am clicking on to ascending button first add user command event trigger yes and if i see the value of function code so if i see the value of system variable have you seen what is the value of system variable ascending and what is this this is a function code for the ascending button so this system variable automatically capture it is a system variable for user command user is giving the command for ascending suppose i will go for descending button suppose now you can see what is the value of psi u com descending and which one event is triggering at user command only but we have different different function code and which system variable is capturing the value of function code psi u com now is what is the summary of the video in this video we studied in the debugging mode that whenever you are clicking on to the functions which you created which event is triggering which interactive classical report event is triggering at user command now we might have 10 functionality we might have 20 functionality we might have 100 functionality but how system understand that it has to only execute this specific logic based upon function code because every button has a function code because you might have 100 functionality on 100 functionality we have only one event at user command but we want dedicated only few lines of logic to execute because everything has a different different function so in that case we will write the logic based upon function code of the button 
and which system variable is capturing the value of function code psi u com it is a system variable for user command which will automatically capture the value of that function code whatever the whatever the button you are clicking it will automatically take the value of function code of that button in the next video we will write the logic based upon this system variable psi u com so that's it in this video thank you